Federal Reserve cut interest rates by half a percentage point. It's the first rate cut since 2020. Now, experts we talked to said we're not going back to a low interest rate environment and said it's going to take some time to see any real meaningful impact on your wallet. We're in a high interest rate environment. We're not going back to a low interest rate environment. Where this will have the most direct impact will be on things like credit cards and home equity lines of credit. The way the average consumer would be helped by the rate cut, of course, is that they'll see the cost of borrowing money go down, whether that's borrowing money for a house, for, for your day-to-day -day purchases as a credit card or a, or a car. Uh, that's really the key way this is going to affect most people. But Greg McBride, chief financial analyst at Bankrate, cautions people not to wait for rates to drop even lower before paying off that credit card debt. The average credit card rate's almost 21%. The Federal Reserve can cut interest rates a bunch of times, and guess what? Your rate's still 19% not exactly a bargain. So you've really got to continue to put the uh, hammer down, try to get those low rate balance transfer offers. When it comes to mortgages, this is a step in the right direction and easing the burden of getting into that dream home. But according to Mark Stapp, a real estate expert at ASU, it could take months to see the effects and could actually lead to another challenge. Right, we still have a very tight inventory. And home builders are affected by interest rates as well. So they're not building beyond what our current demand is. We don't have a big overhead. So all of a sudden you goose the market and you're likely to put upward pressure on house prices again. Many analysts expect to see another rate cut in the November and potentially December Fed meetings. Ben Brown, ABC 15, Arizona.